Okay, I will tell you, when I was in high school, I had like a, a shaved head that was kind of like Tank Girl, but a little bit cuter than Tank Girl, and I got the nickname Riot Girl when I was a freshman in high school, and um, it, it was kind of weird, because it was a very, I was into that, and I was totally listening to like Bikini Kill, Babes in Toyland, L7 Hole, like all that stuff, and it was very important to me, but I... If I really want to talk about it, I had a weird sense of, I had a very uh, ambivalent feeling about it because on the one hand I was super stoked on it and on the other hand I was I was kind of ashamed because it made me different. And um, the scene that I was in was, was totally dudes, there was no other women playing. And uh, so being, being a riot girl, or being called a riot girl in the middle of South Dakota was on one hand awesome because that's what I wanted to do and be and that's what I felt uh, connected to and on the other hand I felt it made me feel different it made me feel like I was somehow set apart from um, the dudes that I was playing with which I considered my peers who I considered my peers so I had kind of a mixed feeling about it like on one hand it gave me a lot of strength and a lot of power and on the other hand um, I'm still now just getting used to be like what's up I'm a chick, I play guitar, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's embracing it and not wanting to feel uh, ghettoized or, or uh, set apart. I mean, I, I was, it was important to, it was really important to me as far as like, oh, I can do this, I can play guitar, what's up? And then on the other hand, I just, my, my peer, there were no other women playing in my town at all. The thing is also too, Sioux Falls was like, people that, if you were counterculture, you were a, tree hugger and a riot girl and a punk rocker all the same you know they were just like you're weird so yeah it's just like we're gonna call you know so they weren't they didn't have it totally figured out you know but they had heard about riot girl and they figured yeah they were like if there's a riot girl that that's gotta be her you know so you know so i i totally loved um i feel like there's two sides to this there's one side that is uh me being 12 and seeing uh, Courtney Love on guitar or on, on TV with electric guitar, that's a polarizing thing to say at this point. Like, it's much easier for me to say, oh, Bikini Kill, their rep is fucking clean, you know, their rep is straight. To say that, that seeing Courtney Love on TV helped me pick up a guitar, that's a much more controversial thing to say, but it's true. You know, uh, I think there's a lot of, there's a couple things to learn from someone like that. It's like you, uh, someone that is, is the first female that's ever been in that sort of stratosphere of, of rock. But then also too, she, you know, she also is kind of a, a cautionary tale of like, don't let fame fuck you up, too. And like also, if you want to play that high, you're going to get some hate. Like, you're going to get hate. <laughs> so... Yeah, awesome. good and bad. I Fucking love that sick. record, but it's like hard. Like I, I, you know, I felt like I was like a Courtney Love apologist for so long. But I was like, but her record's good. I'm like, do you, do you hate Roman Polanski now? Are you never gonna listen? You know, are you never gonna watch his stuff again? You know, you know Led Zeppelin were kind of dicks, right? You know, <laughs> but it's not the same. You know, it's just like she's a bitch, and um, I feel like I, in some ways, felt the same way when like Hillary Clinton was running for president. I. Didn't, I felt uh, nervous about supporting her. Cause I was like, you know what? She's gonna get so much hate. And I can see that sort of, I, I've seen it. Right. If you wanna be an ambitious woman, like you're gonna have to, that's gonna, it's gonna happen. And it freaked me out for a while. I was like, I don't wanna do stuff. I wanna stay underground. I wanna do stuff, you know? But if you gotta, when people get to that level, yeah, there's, there's gonna be some haters, I guess. But fuck them, right?